In an order passed on 21st July, the Supreme Court has held that areas notified under Section 4 of Punjab Land Preservation Act are indeed forest land and provisions of Forest Conservation Act will apply on them. On the property show today, we ask, has this latest Apex Court order ended the controversy around protecting the Aravali forests and national conservation zones? Also on the show, why is it such a fight with the state and planning authorities to preserve the tiny bits of green lungs that the national capital region is left with? Delhi, Gurugram, Faridabad, all by the nasty title of the world's most polluted cities. Yet, whether it is the Haryana government or the NCR planning board, their effort has been to deny the existence of Aravalis and open up national conservation zones for large-scale construction. Now, the latest and most blatant attempt of this is seen in the draft regional plan 2041, a master plan that will decide the destiny of how the national capital region will be developed over the next 20 years. Now, let me take you... To, through what environment and urban planners are saying, large chunks of forest and the Aravalis in Gurugram and Faridabad could lose protection from construction if the provisions in the draft regional plan are implemented. Now, here's a look at how it has actually chipped away at the protection provided to green zones. Starting with the important term National Conservation Zone, NCZ, that has been removed from the regional plan 2041. In the previous master plan 2021, Aravalis, all forest areas, whether notified or not, were to be demarcated as NCZ. Instead, regional plan 2041 has brought in a new word, natural zone, and has restricted natural zones to only those areas that are notified under central state acts and recognized in revenue records. Now, decoded, what does this mean? It excludes over 80% of the existing forests the Aravalis and even floodplains of rivers like Yamuna, Ganga and Hindon and water bodies like Silsa Lake from natural conservation zones. Rules say if an area is notified as NCZ, not more than half a percent of the entire land parcel can be open for construction. By removing the very term NCZ, the Regional Plan 2041 has left all conservation zones wide open for construction. Also, the target total forest cover to be 10% of the total area of the region, which was there in NCR Regional Plan 2021, has been dropped completely from the draft regional plan of 2041. Why is this happening? My guest today, Rajveer Singh, former chief town planner of Haryana, Chetan Agarwal, environment analyst, and Sanjay Parikh, senior advocate at Supreme Court, join me to tell us exactly that. I'm just going to first come to you, Sanjay, because you're the lawyer. Let's start with the latest yeah. judgment from the Supreme Court, which says that the Forest Conservation Act will apply to the Aravalis. Does this mean, once and for all, that now we shouldn't worry about what NCR Planning Board does or the Regional Plan 2041? See, you should not worry at all. Okay. But let me clarify that in 1997 itself, when the judgment was given by the Supreme Court, uh, saying that the Forest Conservation uh, Act, the definition clause will apply. And by definition, if some, some, some uh, place is a forest, then it will be categorized as a forest area. Now, thereafter, there is MC Meta 1, MC Meta 2, and then Kant and Cleo Meta. The state government was changing its stand repeatedly, though the affidavits are filed, saying that it's a forest area. What has been done is actually that the, the confusion which was repeatedly created with regard to Section 4 of PLPA, that has been clarified. And now the uh, three-judge bench of the Supreme Court clearly says that uh, all the uh, land which is notified under Section 4 will be a forest area. Now, if it is a forest area under the Forest Conservation Act, then Section 2 applies. And without prior permission of the central government, the land use cannot be changed. Mm -hmm. That's the impact of the Supreme Court judgment. Okay. So therefore, they can't really, whatever they are trying to do by in the regional plan changes. Now those changes are not permissible. They cannot be made. As a matter of fact, that after the Supreme Court judgment in Kant and Cleo, they wanted to come out with an amendment. The Supreme Court has said that the amendment is not permissible. It is ultra virus, the provisions of the Forest Conservation Act. So that is also that can also not be done by the state government. So therefore, the only option is that the Aravli range, and which should be in, in the in the era of climate change, we are facing lots of problems. The European countries, you know, the forests are uh, really burning is to restore 
the Aravli forest area to do plantation, forest plantation, so that a ecological kind of uh, restoration right. in mm -hmm. this area will come. Okay, yeah. so so yeah. let me just uh, come to Rajveer Singh Ji and ask him, uh, you know, so fine, we've got this fantastic judgment now and hopefully we also have the PMO questioning NCR planning board and urban affairs ministry. So, the why, I mean, why did they even do or make the changes like dropping NCZ, the intentions to me seem that they were absolutely, uh, you know, questionable. Do you believe that? Uh, yes, uh, right from the beginning, in the 21 plan itself, there were certain loopholes left in the uh, left in the plan, deliberately or otherwise, and then we went on. Uh, we tried to enforce those 21 plan, and but we could not do because of so many litigations as we took see today. Things have uh, uh, gone from bad to worse. So, so that was a failure even of the 21 plan. Okay. But these things needed to be corrected in the revised plan, which we are having now. But instead of any corrections, we have made the things worse. And now today, as the thing stands, by changing the nomenclature to a natural zone and enabling the state government to make rules regarding the natural zone, the control, controls regarding the natural zones, mm -hmm. and uh, asking them to take, uh, it, it is some sort of a outsourcing with the NCRPB has done to the state governments. In reality, what should have happened is, that they should have demarcated all these criti critical areas in the uh, regional plan themselves. Absolutely. They should have been, these, uh, these environmental concerned areas should have been identified in the regional plan itself with their boundaries. So there is no scope for any further manipulation. But in even in the 21 plan, what we did was that we did not attempt to identify the area, demarcate the area, we left it to the uh, various agencies, such as PLPA Act and Forest Act, what they do and what is in the revenue record and what is not in the revenue record. We were not doing our job ourselves. It was a, some sort of outsourcing exercise which was going on. And that did not lead us anywhere, the experience shows. Okay. And now, now the thing is that this thing should have been corrected in this uh, uh, 41 draft. But uh, it's only been made the... worse. I get your point, sir. Chetan, let me come to you. Sanjay is very confident that uh, there is no, you know, uh, option for NCR planning board but to restore NCZ and, of course, take cognizant of Aravalis and all the conservation zones. Do you believe that? Because, I mean, ultimately, the removal of NCZ means that on the half percent limit imposed on construction on the land use has been done away with completely. And that is the big worry. The land land gobbling will start happening. Yes, so the, the just very quickly, the NCZ provision, the natural conservation zone provision has four elements. And I think ideally, when we looked at the board meeting minutes of October 21 of the NCRPB, they have officially asked Haryana to formulate the NCZ provision. They asked Haryana to formulate it. Haryana sent it to them in 10 days. They added one word to it, apparently, on the suggestion of the SPA. And they got it approved from the, U, from the UD ministry. Uh, so there, there's a whole range of concerns with this. The biggest, so right from first, they should have done an existing land use uh, map and compared it with the previous land use and seen the change in NCZ and made policies accordingly. This is a mandatory requirement. They haven't done it. They have not made a proposed land use map, which is a mandatory requirement of their act. Instead, as they said, they've said the states may do it at their convenience. Then the definition of the NCZ, they've dropped Arablis, they've dropped forest areas, uh, they've dropped uh, tributaries of rivers, and then they've circumscribed what is remaining by saying water bodies only of natural action and areas which are notified and recorded. Mm -hmm. So earlier, all Arablis were to be in the NCZ. Now you have to first see if they're notified or recorded. There's, there's no Arabli. The word Arabli does not exist in the uh, 
uh, in Haryana's records, like they claim, they're certainly not notified. So, so, so let so, me come to one uh, question, uh, Chetan. Does the Supreme Court ruling of 21st July, and it's just happened, right? Are you confident yes. as much as Sanjay is that, you know, now you cannot no, well, mess it, around with it? it? Not exactly. I mean, it's a very good step because the ruling, basically, the Section 4, Special Section 4 orders comprise about 60% of the Aravlis of Gurgaon Faridabad, 61% to be exact. So, in 61%, it is not difficult. I mean, those will have to be protected, but what is the protection if the half percent limit has been removed? So basically, first, they on the definition, they've, they've shrunk the Aravlis on, on the definitions front. On the policies and proposals, they've knocked it them out. There's no forest target. There's no allocation of wastelands. Earlier, the Aravli wastelands, either okay. Aravlis or forest. So, so let me come so to the question, Chetan. I think we've already flashed all the uh, issues with what is held right. in the draft plan. What is the solution now? The fact that, you know, not all the Aravlis have been I, I covered. I think the solution uh, is what the MOEF has recommended to the NCR planning board, that the NCZ provisions of the 2021 plan should be retained as they are. Okay. And they should not be deleted. And certainly, the uh, neither the definition nor the zoning regulation of half percent. Right now, we have nothing left in the definition and we have no zoning regulation or restriction. So, MOEF's suggestion and observation to the NCRPB uh, I think that is the way forward. Okay. Uh, now, overall, if I let me let me also get Sanjay's views here because yeah. they've also, as uh, you know, Supreme Court lawyers, been really fighting to protect the green lungs or the remaining green lungs that we have in NCR. Uh, Sanjay, another point which really bothers us is the area under forest has declined from 4.02% reported in NCR Regional Plan 2021 to just 3.27% and the target is 10%. My question is like, unless we can, uh, why do we need to keep bringing Supreme Court into this again and again? Why doesn't state government recognize that this is non-negotiable? And what do we do to get there see the the question is that who is ultimately the trustee of a preservation of the natural resources the state is the trustee now now if we if we look at the haryana state doing and there is an observation made by the supreme court that they are defying the rule of law now what is the rule of law and i must clarify the earlier situation also that if the supreme court judgment has protected only 60 percent what happens to rest of the area the Supreme Court has not diluted the earlier judgments. That is to say, by definition, if you recognize any area as a forest area, then it becomes a forest area under the Forest Conservation Act. If it is recorded in the in the in the in the uh, uh, government records as a forest area, then it will be a forest area. And the question is merely by removing uh, the uh, uh, the river or the natural. Uh, 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 bounties, mountains, aravlis from a notification, they don't cease to be there. You can't say that they, they, they don't exist. Absolutely. If they exist merely by changing something cosmetically, hmm. you can't really bluff the people. And ultimately, uh, the, the question is that state is uh, defeating its own uh, uh, purpose for which the, the environment has to be protected. Right. So it is a self-defeating exercise which is being done. Because on one hand, you say that you want to uh, see that the pollution is, is lessened to some extent. What, uh, how you are going to do it? Unless, unless you preserve the river, unless you preserve the Aravlis in a proper way, it's not going to happen. And it has to be state's responsibility. It has to be Correct. planning authority's responsibility. Rajviji, your point of view on preserving green lungs of NCR. I mean, you know, we are just blessed with a couple of months of clean air. When I see 61, I'm almost jumping with joy. And this is not going to last very long. We know come October, we are going to be breathing 300, 400 and worse AQI. What's your point of view? My point is that until or unless the NCRPB comes with specific areas to be demarcated on, on the ground by GPS and uh, remote sensing techniques. Hmm. The state government will stay, still take, you know, this is not forest, it is a Gair uh, Mumkin Pahad. This, matlab, the, the plan which we are, we are preparing, draft plan, it is relying upon other notifications. Yeah. 
Absolutely. You see what what is what is happening is, and then then those notifications go in for litigation. Somebody says that this is not a forest. It is and, a. And I get your reports. point, Mr. Rajiv so, Singh. So I think you raised it, and you've raised a very critical point. I'll have to uh, take a break at this moment. But the fact that you can't depend on outside agencies and different notifications, different rulings to decide what your forests and aravalis are, you have modern technology. You can do this yourself and earmark once and for all, and make sure that none of the changes happen after that. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you so much for joining me today. It's an important issue, and hope. the next draft plan of uh, 2041 regional plan which comes out will restore aravalis 0.5% of development in no con conservation zone and not mess around with the you know definitions at all now on the other side tremendous work has been done by citizen groups to preserve the green lungs of ncr i am gurgaon is one aravalis bachao these are some of the movements uh, we'll bring you their demand of preservation of ncr's green lungs stay with us The Supreme Court in no uncertain terms has squashed any attempts by state or planning authorities to implement changes in the Punjab Land Preservation Act known as PLPA which can strip aravalis or the areas defined as forests of their right to conservation and there have been multiple such attempts by the Haryana government over the last two decades these have been fought tooth and nail by passionate citizen movements like aravali bachao joining me is neela maluwalia convener aravali bachao to give us her perspective on the controversy and of course how happy she is with the latest supreme court judgment neelam are we relieved should we breathe a you know sigh of relief that ab kuch nahi hoga we are we are going our aravalis are going to be safe we are very relieved with the supreme court order because it was something that was uh, that was really really making us tense our campaign uh, started uh, three and a half years back when the haryana government actually amended the punjab land preservation act and uh, you know we did like a series of protests a lot of things we uh, we did asking the government to uh, roll that back and then last year when they filed this affidavit in the supreme court again you know bringing up uh, issues about uh, the plpa and you know trying to confuse uh, uh, the court about it so we actually intervened in this uh, in this matter through uh, uh, the law firm legal initiative for forests and environment and our right. lawyers ritwik and rahul like you know they they fought on our behalf and we just we are very very pleased with the order but Uh, the ncr draft plan is actually even uh, the grandfather of the plp amendment and that's something <laughs> that is really really scaring uh, yeah. all citizens at this point of time and we've been uh, you know like we came to know about these amendments in end of december and uh, the uh, the ncr planning board just gave time till 7th of uh, january of this year to uh, file the objections so we actually ran a email campaign over 3 days from 4th of january till the midnight of 7th of uh, january and we were able to send across uh, from across uh, ncr across india about uh, 3200 uh, emails 
uh, went to the NCR planning board saying, you know, like talking about whatever the dilutions and are. So and much that, so that you know, the PMO not... and Ministry of Environment also took note of it. I mean, they're also not happy with the changes. Most of the objections, or so 95% of the objections which did come to the NCR planning board regional plan, draft regional plan 2041, were essentially on this dilution of Aravalis, not recognition of the uh, non-conservation zones or natural conservation zones and complete dropping of that half a percent limit on construction. So these are some of the things that we have to be extremely cognizant about. There is of course another proposal of making a cycling zone or track uh, which is another worrying point which needs to be taken care of and hopefully the NCR planning board with so much of news, media and all of us raising our voices will take care of it and not bring it back. There was a proposal that I am Gurgaon as a citizen movement and body is also opposing is the idea of actually taking a road, a connectivity road, calling it a road of national importance from the biodiversity park which actually the citizens have built, built coming together giving all of NCR a green zone or much needed green zone. Well, we keep our fingers crossed that citizens continue to remain uh, concerned about these issues and NCR Planning Board does listen to all the objections. Thank you so much for joining me.